What's going on, guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and I am broadcasting from St. Louis, the St. Louis airport. So you look out, I mean, you see, you know, planes, you see all kinds of good stuff. You see the uh, the gate, and then look what I found, the Nexus S 4G. No, I'm just kidding. The Nexus S 4G came to my house this morning, but I didn't have time to unbox it. So I was going to live life on the edge and unbox it in the airport during my layover. So here it is, the Nexus S 4G. Not that different from the original Nexus S. You can see a Google Samsung on the back and Sprint, 3G, 4G capable. Pop it off, you can see here's the phone, looks exactly the same. I think it's 0.3 millimeters thicker. Um, so you can see the phone there, it looks exactly identical. Volume rocker on the left hand side, micro USB charging port on the bottom, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, power button, 5 megapixel camera with a flash, uh, and so we'll leave that out there. Front facing camera as well. And then in the box, you get your Sprint Get Started Guide, important Sprint information health and safety and warranty guide, manual de información de salud y seguridad de la garantía, and then you get your earbuds down here. Samsung always puts in good earbuds, in my opinion. I actually use those every now and again uh, when I buy a Samsung device. I'll use those for travel. My, uh, an AC adapter and a, uh, and a USB cable as well. So that's what comes in the box, google.com slash nexus, a little Android man, and we're on the way to Google I.O. So this is even more fitting because I'm headed out to San Francisco and I'm on a layover in St. Louis. So let's power the sucker on just to see. Actually, I think it's already powered on. We'll go away from that. And you can see, uh, here's the device. Looks exactly the same, no big differences. Uh, Front-facing camera, you just see the Sprint there. Uh, and then I have six new mentions on Twitter. Yeah, I pulled it out to set it up because I didn't want to take the time to, uh, to do that you know, on camera and take away from my valuable time with the device, you know? But everything looks identical. You can see the gingerbread keyboard thrown into the landscape mode. It looks like it's locked in landscape mode. Um, which you can see, same keyboard, same look. The biggest difference is up here, let me wait for it to zoom in. You can see, get it out here. I don't know why it's not, there we go, 4G. You can see that 4G up there, and now it's down here in the menu. Let's go down here, take a look at settings, and see about phone. And you can see some minor differences in the menu, like system updates, sprint system updates and then status, and it is running, actually let me go back up here, uh, let me find it, there it is, Android version 2.3.4, so you get that video chat capability with Google Talk, so just some minor things that, you know, the Nexus S, the original one, didn't come with out of the box, that you do get on the Sprint one, otherwise, pretty much plain Jane, same build of, um, same build of Android, so we can go, go through really quickly, it's restored some of my applications um, that I had, you know, advanced task killer, things like that, but out of the box, it's a stock Google experience. Um, let's see here, Quadrant Standard. I want to run a quick Quadrant Standard. I'm going to cheat. I know I don't usually do this in the unboxing, but this is a big day because we're going to Google I.O., so I'm going to cheat and run a Quadrant Standard test just so you can see what it's like here. And let's see, it'll run. I haven't had a chance to test call quality, and I just turned it on before I left uh, Charlotte, so that's what it, uh, that's what it looked like. And let's see. wait for it to run here, but you can see it looks exactly the same as the other device. Um, there's a camera on the back. Actually, I can pull that sticker off. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Ugh. Bam. How do you like them apples? How do you like them apples, America? YouTube? Bam. There we go. So that's pulled off, and you can see it's running through this. And you know, it is a single core processor. It's still running that one gigahertz Hummingbird processor, so I wouldn't expect, you know, too much. Um, in terms of the quadrant standard, it's not going to blow the G2X out of the water or the Galaxy S2 or anything like that, but, you know, you can see here. Wait for it to load up. And it's running pretty quickly, you know, I'm impressed. And it's nice to have that 4G capability, and it's nice to have it come to another network where you've got options as well. Benchmark result, 1,423, so nice and fast. You know, it's a good, good moderate device and uh, a good addition to Sprint's lineup. Much more coverage to come on the Nexus S4G on PhoneDog.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. You know, we're giving away some Nexus. We're not giving away the 4G yet, but we're giving away the T-Mobile Nexus S. You have the chance to win it, so, and, and much more, iPad 2s and more. So head over to Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. And of course, follow me on Twitter as well, PhoneDog underscore Aaron, with any questions, thoughts, and all that good stuff that you have. From St. Louis, from the airport, I'm going to get back on a plane and fly. I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. We'll see you next time.